guys, this is the Talk D here. I'm going to be checking out the new Kerbal Space Program update 0 0.24, which adds this little building over here. It looks pretty new. Uh, these ones, I'm actually, I actually skipped 0 0.23 because it didn't really grab me, and I kind of wanted to wait for the the whole career mode to take off. So yeah, it seems like it's getting quite fun and interesting. So I'm going to give it a go. Okay, so we have to launch a space program and launch a vehicle. That's pretty easy. Let's try that one. Hang on, they give us all sorts of things here. Completion, I guess that's money. And I would imagine reputation points. I'm not too sure what stars mean right now. Um, okay, and yeah, no science. The science will be over there. See, yeah, there's stars, and then there's the green. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, well, anyway, that's uh, five kilometers, so we can attempt that one. Escape atmosphere and orbit, I think we can do in one, but I don't want to do it on my first mission. It's been such a long time, I could make a serious stuff up if I try and do too much at one stage, so... Um, solid boosters I don't think I'm going to use because I want to actually give a little boost when we reach the ground again after we've completed our mission, just to like make sure nothing blows up because I think if we just hit the solid rocket booster it's probably going to explode. Okay, let's put an engine on that. I think that'll be okay, let's just make sure the parachute doesn't launch and start up, that'll be terrible. Um, and we will call this the Maiden. So it's our Maiden voyage. Cool, and we save that with Enter, I guess. Can we save this? Uh, save, 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 thank you. Let's launch it and see how it goes. <coughs> Yeah, so I'm going to probably be doing a few things wrong here, because it's been a really long time since I played this game. And I'm not really on pro level like Scott Manley and those kind of things. I'll put a, a link to his videos in the description if you're interested to see some tutorials and things like that. But I'm just going to do a l rough let's play and see how we can... how this career mode works out. Okay, so I'm going to throttle up to 100%, maybe 75, just to not get too much. Then we're going to try and aim for 5 kilometers. so let's go. What? I put these on different action groups. Oh my god. Okay. Well, this is obviously going to go very badly. Very, very badly. Let's just see if we can save something. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So obviously my action groups did not save. What did we manage to recover? It doesn't look like too much damage was done. Um, so, funds added from recovery parts is a grand. Okay, we lost the engine, which is like major, I guess. No, that's actually what we have. So, we actually still made. No, wait, how could we have made that amount of money? Oh, I suppose we completed a contract, too. Eh? Okay, well, let's go back here and see what the hell is wrong with Maiden now. It's on the right action group. What? What? I don't understand. Engine in the fire? That's so strange. Okay, now it seems okay. I have no idea. Wait a minute. Does it go one and then zero? Is that what's going on? Let's see. Yes, it is. So we are going to just recover this right now. Yeah, I'm I'm actually a coder, so uh, zero normally comes before one, so that's kind of confusing for me. <laughs> but not really good excuses at her. Thought I'd try. Guess the first one and then second one. Well, that will be the first hopefully, and then zero will be that one. Okay, let's just say that in case we do something else terribly stupid. And let's try and get that 5k one, proving far more difficult than I thought it would be. Throttle up, and off we go. Cool, we don't have SAS or anything on this, so I'm just going to have to manually fly this, but 5k shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. And yeah, on this update, the closer you land back at school Kerbal Space Program, the more money you get back, so kind of don't want to veer too much off course. Uh, yeah, otherwise you might start actually losing money, but yeah, money is money, so at least getting something back is better than nothing. We could actually accelerate quite high here. Yeah. Just this rocket all there, we've hit our 5k mark. Does it actually tell us anything here? There we go. Okay, achieved. That's pretty cool. Oh, 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 oh. We're starting to lose control. I'm just going to cut the throttle. 
got a lot of fuel to get us back home. 9Ks is like nowhere near exiting the atmosphere, but still, you can get a view over there. That's our, orp, our little peak apoapsis. Um, we are actually going to head into the ocean. I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to try and accelerate in this direction. Retrograde, which is against our current velocity. And try and get a bit of a prograde vector in that, that direction. And just hopefully let us fall down to Kerbal. Not too far away. <laughs> Cross fingers and all that. Wait for about one kilometer before I drop the parachute. Okay, 3Ks, yeah, that's nice and close. Let's go back down to there. Start deploying the parachute a bit. 100 meters per second shouldn't really be a problem. 500 meters, the parachute starts slowing us down. That's fantastic. Let's decelerate up a bit. There's our shadow coming down there. We're only 10 meters a second, so I don't think we really need much in the way of slowing down. But, oh my god, okay. Obviously we do. Lesson learned. 10 meters per second on the engine is, is kind of painful. But we'll cover that, and we should have actually got some science for that one. Yes, we got 0.8 science. Parts we recovered. Does it actually tell us how much we spent versus how much we recovered? Oh, 97% yeah, of the value. Okay, so that's not bad at all. And then 25. Ah, it starts a reputation. Okay, so then. Oh, so this is actually a reputation bar, so that's good reputation, bad reputation, I guess. Cool, well, let's see what other contracts we've got to do here. Set an altitude record of 11 kilometers. Does it, can it go over that? Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'll test the Mark 16 parachute. Now, I've heard that these actually have expiration dates. Um, expires in two days, so we have two days to test that. And then this one, two days as well. What we have to do here, we want you to test the RT, to install the fuel booster. Landed at Kerbin. Okay. Stack decoupler. Well, if we're going to escape the atmosphere, we might actually want to Do all of those in one um, orbit. Do the test the stuck to stack the coupler. Now, if we just test it, it's just using it in our things, eh? Arrival, form a test, activate the part, restaging sequence, and all test conditions are met. Okay. Conditions, uh, nothing really special, so I can test that. Solid fuel booster. Um, might be handy to have a few fuel boosters just to get us in the atmosphere. Uh, Mark 16 parachute. I'm not sure what kind of parachute that is. I think those are the ones that go on the side. Uh, I guess we could test those. Gonna have, never have too many parachutes, especially after what we just saw. Okay, so we want to achieve orbit this time, so we're gonna have to have two different stages here. This one is a bit excessive for one stage. Uh, do we want to spend science? Oh, I don't think I don't think we're gonna spend science right now. Okay, they want us to test that out. Let's see parachutes. They haven't actually given us the parachute, or is it this parachute? Oh, okay, so that's a default parachute, so that's fun. Okay, I'm gonna put a few fuel thingies on here. Not too sure of my Delta V mods obviously not enabled on this game yet. It's still too new. Um, how many would we need? I think that'll be more than enough actually. Probably too much, but okay. do we have a decoupler? Oh boy, then they even give us a decoupler at this point. 
it does not seem that way. So let's go made in version two. Save him for now. Okay, um I could attach it with these I guess, but no. Okay, I'm gonna think I'm gonna have to go get some signs. Let's see if we can get a little structure or whatever those decoupler things on. I would imagine it's this place. No, that's for our crew. R and D, R and D, R and D. Is it this? Uh, it's R and D. Yeah, they don't actually give us one. Hey, they don't give us one there either. They give us a nice fuel tank though. Five signs. We've got ten. Might as well get it. And then, anywhere here. There we go. Eighteen signs. Okay, we don't have anywhere near enough yet. So we'll just have to strap on some solid boosters straight onto this thing. Which is going to be E. I don't know if I actually want to do that. Because it's just going to make the weight so much more. Okay, then we don't need so many solid rocket boosters. Let's just try two. Might actually be enough. I'm going to have a normal engine on top of that. Or should I just go full on solids? They're cheaper than engines, so... Yeah, let me do full on solids. Put one down there and then we'll put four here. Line it up like that. <laughs> Will this achieve orbit? I sure as hell hope so, but I'm not too sure about that actually. Let's save and see what happens. Let's do actually we've got a new feature now where we can we can actually do a secondary save. So let's see. Can do it from the launch pad, I'm not too sure. Doesn't look that way. So let's revert for it. Revert to vehicle assembly. Let's go back to here. We can just perform a backup save just in case this thing goes horribly wrong. Test zero one. Help. Okay, so let's get this thing launched now. Everything set up correctly, all our engines correct. Yes, let's go. Hopefully this will be successful, but uh, manual flight is normally quite tricky if we have even SAS to help us out, keep stability and all that stuff. But we will give her the best that we can do. So let's go. To space. Okay, we're already picking up a bit of rotation. So I'll try and correct that. Um, I'm probably not even going to have much maneuverability on this ship either because I've got no fins. So at the 2k mark, I'm going to try and start edging over to 90 degrees. Can you give me any kind of control here? I don't want to roll. I just want to go to 90 degrees. Is that even going to be possible? No, we're not going to make it to 90 degrees. Okay, I'm probably going to have to wait for these engines to drop out, which isn't too much. Okay, get out of there. 90 degrees, please. 90 degrees. Stop rotating. Stop rotating. Stop rotating. Whoa! 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 <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay, let's try and accelerate here to give us some direction. Throttle up. Okay, great. That seems to be stabilizing a bit. Okay, let's check what our apoapsis is doing. I want to get this up to about 100 k's. Looks pretty promising. Kill throttle. 100 k's. Okay, cool. Cool, so we might actually be able to achieve orbit. What is our fuel situation? Mm, it's a bit low here. Um, okay, well let's put in our maneuver node and just pray for the best. Okay, so that switches over, which means it's close. What have we got here? 107, 68, too low. 90, let's just do a switch. 99, 153, it's a bit high. But, and what kind of burn is that? Oosh, that's a heavy burn. 
did he? 96. And 5, 50. Kind of went one went switches over 93, 122. Mm, 93 is a bit low, eh? Hey? But if it goes so high on the other side. Okay. And two and seventy three. Okay, that's about the best we can do. Let's just get on vector. Carefully, carefully, carefully. <laughs> okay, cool, we've got a minute. It's eighteen second burn, not too bad. Let's just time accelerate a bit. Kinda want to start accelerating nine seconds and then nine seconds over the point. Bring time acceleration down. Okay, off we go. Let's see how we do here. Do the full burn. How's our fuel looking? Ooh, our fuel is looking bad. Oof, we ran out of fuel there. Did not achieve orbit. Yeah, so because I couldn't really start turning much earlier, I think that hindered me quite a bit. So we are going to have to land this thing, I guess. Did we achieve any of our contracts? Okay, so we at least achieved altitude of 11 k's, and we're about to test them, the parachute. We have got no fuel to help us slow down. Okay. There's only two contracts we have right now. We've got 71,000, geez, they're very lenient with the money, which is great. Let's go back to our ship view. And unfortunately, I'm going to be coming down on the dark side here. Put our nose prograde. Retrograde, I mean. Just so, we're like facing kind of the right way. And down we go into the ocean. Well, maybe the ocean will be a bit kinder to us than um, just plain ground. Oh wow, you can actually move when you're accelerating. Hmm. Yeah, I hope we're coming down the ocean. There's land there. Okay, there we go. Re-entry. Slow us down, please. Slow us down. Oh no! The ground! Is that ground or is that water? It looks like we might actually be in the water, so yay for that. Let's deploy our parachutes, I think. Time acceleration do its work. 600 meters. Okay, there we go. Parachutes are deployed, thank the heavens. Okay, and down we go. 300 meters, 200 meters. I can't see any shadows yet. We're damn close though. 10 meters per second. Let's hope this doesn't mean any damage. And bloop! Wow! Okay, water seems a lot safer. Or did everything get knocked off there? <laughs> everything fell off! What? Okay. Ah, but there we go. Is it going to be sunrise or sunset? It's hard to tell. What did we manage to recover from that flight? And how much did we get back, actually? Eight science, which is great. Uh, we recovered funds. 68%. Okay, so we lost quite a bit, mainly because we had a whole detachable place there. But I mean, still better than 50, so that's pretty good. We've got 72,000, which is actually, like, crazy cool. Um, okay, so the main problem is here, we don't have enough fuel in our second stage to actually achieve orbit. We've got these nice fuel tanks, actually, which uh, are... How many litres do they have in here? 180 and 220 versus these. 
which is 90 and yeah, so that's pretty much double, so if you put on two of these it would kind of be overkill. But better overkill than no kill. Sort of wonder if I should break that up into yet another detachable part. Um, I don't think so, we should also maybe see V3. We should maybe see what size we've got to suspend, because then maybe we can attach some of the rocket boosters. On a detachable part. Arc 2 radial mount parachute. Liquid fuel engine. Didn't we? Oh, this is liquid fuel engine. In flight uh, requirements. That looks pretty pretty easy. Radial mount parachute. I don't think we're going to be able to test that right now. Well, we could just shove a few on and just give it a go. Test rocket max back on the fuel booster. Is this the large one? I think these are the large bastards. Which require a whole different design there. Separation. Okay. LV liquid engine sub orbital trajectory of a Kerbin. Sounds a bit too technical for me. Radial decoupler. <coughs> that actually might be useful for us. So let's have a look. Let's see what parts that gives us before we spend science. Okay, so they want us to test these gigantic engines. Yeesh. And then this engine. This one has... I think you can adjust your velocities and things with the actual engine itself, isn't it? Yes, so that would actually be great. Um, did they give us decouplers? Yes, they did. Fantastic. So, I think this is actually too large for us up a stage, but we'll give it a go. This is going to be a gigantic rocket anyway, because it needs to test these solid boosters. So we'll shut this on here. We'll put that engine on, because it's... Now, our contract did it want it to test it and out of orbit. If it did, we need to put it on there instead as well. So let's do that. Have it both. Both use that engine. And this. That on there. And put these on here. Might need two, actually. We're going to make it symmetrical, 4x4. Four four. Jeez, that'll be some serious proportion, but also some serious weight. I think I'm just going to try two, actually. I'll put two on, yeah. Should be stable enough. Why don't you want to attach? on these things. Hope that's okay. I think it's nah, it's not good enough actually. Should it down a little bit more. Okay, it looks pretty good. I don't know if this stability is gonna be an issue. We need some struts. Have we got struts yet? No we have not. need to invest in some struts. This is not the Maiden anymore, this needs a more manly name. This is like... Oh, the... The Boomba. This is a really big one. I actually don't think it's going to be very efficient at all. Do we have any Aeronauts? No. 
control, nothing. Utility, I don't want us to test these. Let's put a few on here. Can never have too many parachutes on the main one. Do they give us four? I think four is too much here. Let's just go to try and counteract this weight a bit here. So it's not gonna do much, but did nothing. Okay, we got parachutes, let's check our stages. Okay, these are all on there. That's all in the first stage. Kind of want another stage in here for just this engine. Don't think we'll need it with those two copper cars going at the same time. Where are these? Ah, I see. So these are the decouplers here. Yeah, so we want that afterwards. Buy those, then those, and then we're going to go into that one. And then after that one decouple, and then go into this one. We need a new one here for these parachutes. All these parachutes need to come in here and above here. Okay, that looks pretty good. The Boomba, yeah. Boomba, please don't fall over. Mm -hmm.